Daily coronavirus cases in Zimbabwe surged to the highest since the start of the pandemic after the emergence of the Omicron variant and as the government increases testing. The Southern African nation recorded 4,031 new infections on Tuesday, surpassing the previous record of 3,110 reached during a third wave of infections in July, according to Health Ministry data. All infections for December 7 were domestic cases, signaling a rise in community transmission, it said. The positivity rate the percentage of process tests that are positive is 35 percent, according to the ministry. That compares with 1.4 percent two weeks ago. At the moment we are at the stage of mass infections and rising hospitalizations, which is an ominous sign, Solweyong Gwenya, the acting chief executive officer at Mpilo Hospital, said by phone from the nation's second biggest city of Bulawayo. Agnes Mahamba, the coordinator of Zimbabwe's National COVID-19 Task Force, said infections are expected to increase after the discovery of the Omicron virus last month. It is very clear that the inevitable is now here, she said by phone from the capital, Harare. Health authorities have increased testing as part of mitigation and control measures, with 11,535 tests carried out on Tuesday compared with 2,500 done on December. 6. Mahamba said. Read more, Zimbabwe may bar unvaccinated people from using public transport. Disruptions to business because of the surge in infections are increasing, with the University of Zimbabwe announcing a suspension of in-person classes from December. 9. A week earlier than planned for its end-of-year break. The Judicial Services Commission, which has oversight of the country's judiciary, said on Wednesday operations at the High Court and several magistrates' courts will be suspended. Zimbabwe is targeting vaccinating 60% of its 15 million population by year-end. Less than 3 million people, or about 20% of the population, have so far been fully vaccinated.